the LED next to the battery symbol lights up when an external power source is connected. A two-colored indicator lights up to show the current state of battery charge. Flashing green indicates that the battery is charging. Lit green indicates that the battery is fully charged. If the LED lights up yellow, this indicates that no battery is inserted or the battery cannot be charged. When the device is switched on, the remaining battery charge is displayed in the header bar below the oxygen mode as a symbol in increments of 25%. In addition, the remaining duration of operation in hours and minutes is displayed. The numeric display appears on startup after a short delay. The device has two different system tests. The system test when using a disposable breathing circuit and the system test with breathing circuit when using a reusable breathing circuit. Both system tests can only be performed in standby mode. A system test must be performed once a day, for example at the start of a shift, but at least every six months. The system test takes about one minute. To switch the ventilator on, briefly press the start standby key. The ventilator performs an automatic self-test, then the standby screen is displayed. To move to screen two of the dialog, touch the button 1 in the top right-hand corner of the screen. Touch the button Test and Calibration. Using a disposable breathing circuit, touch the button System Test. Using a reusable breathing circuit, touch the button System Test with Breathing Circuit, which is shown here as an example. The system test with the breathing hose is now started. On screen 1 out of 4, confirm the advisory messages with the next button. On screen 2 out of 4, confirm the advisory message with the next button. The system test is then started. Its progress is indicated by a bar on screen 3 out of 4. When prompted, seal the patient port, seal the patient port. When prompted, open the patient port, open the patient port. The test result is displayed on screen 4 out of 4. To exit, touch the Finish button. The CO2 zero calibration and the CO2 filter test can be performed in standby mode and during ventilation. After connecting the CO2 sensor or after a power supply failure, the sensor must warm up for approximately three minutes before it is ready for operation. The CO2 zero calibration is carried out weekly. The CO2 filter test is carried out monthly. Touch the button Test and Calibration. As an example, we will show you how to perform the CO2 zero calibration. To start the CO2 zero calibration, touch the button CO2 zero calibration. On screen one out of three, confirm the advisory message with the next button. The CO2 zero calibration starts and the message zero calibration of CO2 sensor in progress is displayed. When the CO2 zero calibration is completed, a message is displayed indicating the result of the calibration. To exit, touch the finish button in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. Reconnect the CO2 sensor to the CO2 cuvette. To start the CO2 filter test, touch the button CO2 filter test. Confirm the messages, remove the cuvette from the CO2 sensor and Attach the CO2 sensor to the test filter with the next button. The CO2 filter test starts and the message filter test of CO2 sensor in progress is displayed. A bar indicates that the CO2 filter test is in progress. When the CO2 filter test is completed, a message is displayed indicating the result. To exit, touch the finish button in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Reconnect the CO2 sensor to the CO2 cuvette.